guys. I'm Nuryas Pimbiti Zafuddin and I'm from Rompen, Pahang. I study in SMK Rompen in Pahir Mokaldun. I'm here to talk about what is depression. Do you know what depression means? Or have you ever had a depression before? Okay, I'm gonna tell you today what is depression means. Humans respond to stress, loss, and adversity in a variety of ways. Many of us have experienced low mood spirits when faced with a difficulty or a loss. This change of behavior is a normal human reaction to a stressful situation as such as state and is stress and it is transient and goes away in a couple of days. But if symptoms such as the low moods, hopelessness, changes in appetite, sleep patterns, losses of interest in hobbies, feelings of guilt persist for more than two weeks and negatively affect our social, domestic, and occupational, then it is no more a normal reaction, but a pathological one. It may merit a concern for clinical depression. Major depression is extremely common among various societies and despite being a treatable illness, goes largely undiagnosed due to its insidious nature and the stigma attached to its diagnosis and seeking treatment. Change in weight or appetite, insomnia or hypersomnia, psychomotor agitation, loss of energy or fatigue, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, impaired concentration or indecisiveness, thoughts of death or suicidal attempt. If there if there is a depression resulting in significant clinical impairment but not just meeting the above criteria for major depression, then it is termed as adjustment disorder with depressed mood. This occurs within three months to following stressful life events and does not persist for six months after the termination of the stressor. If there are depression symptoms occurring within two months of the death of a loved one, then it is considered as a normal grief. If symptoms persist beyond two months, then it is diagnosed of major depression needs to be explored. Severity Major depression can be divided into four, mild, moderate, severe, and very severe. In mild depression, despite the symptoms, functioning will be still preserved. In moderate depression illness, the different facets of functioning would be markedly impaired. In severe major depression, one may experience a suicidal thoughts. In a very severe form, one may even experience hallucinations and delusions accompanying the mood symptoms which is termed as major depression with psychotic features. Case for urgency According to the International Global Burden of Disease Study, major depressive disorder or known as MDD is the third leading cause of the years lived with disability YLD, which can be described as years lived in less than ideal health. Severe forms of clinical depression often leads to severe forms of clinical depression often leads to suicides. Mental illness at large and major depression is particular pose a public health challenge which calls public health policy institutes and governments to take appropriate steps. Diagnosis, signs and symptoms. Major depressive disorder is diagnosed on the basis of a set of nine symptoms formulated in the Diagnostics and Statistical Manual DSM and they are contact five or more of the nine symptoms including at least one of the depressed mood and loss of interest or pleasure in the same two weeks period and each of the symptoms represent a change from previous function thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe it